Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Fallon. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another indie horror game. This one is called Lamppost. Apparently it's something to do with SCP. I've never heard of SCP the Lamppost, but there you go. The small game on itch.io. Uh, we love itch.io, so let's get into it. Um, a bit noisy. Oh. Uh, recent SCP activity was discovered by locals in the middle of the... Uh, Thornwood Forest, authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath. A random lamppost to SCP XXXX is currently under suspicion of Team Alpha. Oh, supervision of Team Alpha, sorry. Uh, they are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknowing anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamppost uses energy around itself, assuming anything that comes in contact with it. Alright. Itchy nose. I don't know why. Oh, my. Oh, here we go. Dr. Hayden, our intel suggests that this is a Keta class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful uh, when observing this object. SCP XXXX doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. Teleporting lamppost. Okay. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by forest, yet the objects in this area appeared from. Unknown locations we must contain those objects. Uh, here, this analog multimeter. Uh, this is an analog multimeter is used to measure electrical quantities like frequency, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by the lamppost and collect them. I'll be checking for other anon. I can't read anomalies as well. Doctor Cooper will observe you uh, us. Uh, just in case, <laughs> just in case if anything happens, and Doctor Form will provide us with mental help, medical help, if we need any. <laughs> I can't read today. Collect at least five samples and report to Doctor Cooper, and afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant, avoid interactions with the lamppost, and good luck. Jesus, what's wrong with me? Okay, here we go. That was it. That's a good sprint. How do I use? There we go. Just automatically uses. There we go. This is easy. Just avoid the lamppost at all costs and collect shit. Oh yeah, there you go. That one definitely. Okay. Okay, avoid the lamppost. What the hell's he got on his head? Is that a headlamp? Fair enough. Can't argue with it. I say you're a sneaky little devil, look at you. Ugh. Oh, look at that little devil in the back. Look at it. Dr. Cooper, right? Which was Dr. Cooper? Are you Dr. Cooper? No, you're Dr. Fawn. Dr. Cooper. Hello, Dr. Cooper. Knowing that my face is covering the multimeter, but there you go. Impressive work. We need to pack those things. Is that really impressive? Uh, we need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Although, do not wonder where those objects are coming from. Where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? Hello! No one is allowed in this area, yet there are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere, maybe even from another dimension? Yeah, I might be just picking up high frequency. Damn, oh no, the lamppost. I think it more, oh no, the man, but fair enough. Oh dear. Oh dear. Where am I? Find a way out. Fantastic. Where the... They are known. We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tries to get close to it vanished in front of our eyes. My theory is that this 
vortex of photons create a dimensional bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there's a surge of electricity around. After that, it starts emitting strong light, and if anyone touches it, the lamppost uh, and the objects or a, or a person disappear. All right, fair enough. All right, so there's a dead body. Fantastic. Hello, motherfucker. You little. Really? All right. All right, fair enough. Can I buy something? Oh, hello, skull. Beer. Oh, daddy. Ah. What was a door? And oh, wait, there's another computer. I uh, don't know. Sometimes the lab post can make a choice. It can trap the person forever in time or return them back. No one knows what happened to those who returned, but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore. Only the abandoned souls can hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name, it suffocates your flesh, and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Fantastic. Phenomenal performance. Can't crouch, but I could turn on. Right, am I supposed to be turning on the computers? <gasps> Hello! <laughs> Fuck! I keep looking at myself on OBS. Why don't I look at the camera? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Fuck, I thought it was there again. Oh! Mwah! I licked the lamppost. Oh, fuck. Is there someone behind me? Okay. Uh, to any observ anyone observ uh, to any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye, it will vanish, but appear once more. We call it the photon shadow, which is created by this lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever, without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Fantastic. Right, I just want to check what's down here. Dr. Hyden's, well, he's... he's fucked. Fair enough. Alright! Oh, yay! Oh! Oh, is that it? Oh, it said... Okay, fair enough. It said 15 minutes, but that... It wasn't, but, I mean, that's fine. Well, there you go. Special thanks for playing this game. Oh, there you go. That is the end of the game. Oh, that was... I mean, it was alright. To be fair, it was pretty good couple of cheap little jump scares like it said there was going to be online but i enjoyed them at the same time that's just that's, that's, that's all you want it was nothing too horrendous and scary just a couple of jump scares but yeah i enjoyed that i'll give that oh should i start rating indie horror games we could do that i really actually enjoy playing indie horror games again i used to do it a lot enjoying it again i'll give that one seven out of ten i enjoyed you know a little bit of noise uh fairly simple but wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad game. Jump scares, nice and little, nothing too scary. Uh, yeah, 7 out of 10. How's that? Well, there you have it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to play the game yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description below. And there might be other games made by the creator there as well. I will maybe look into it, see what else they've done. Um, but yeah, comment down below any of the games you'd like to play. If there are any indie horror games you'd like to play. If you've made any yourself, let me know. And yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new.
<laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Alright, bye guys. Bye.